Hi, this is James, and welcome back to Mask and Tape Treasures. <laughs> First and foremost, I'd like you to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. <laughs> and hit me, hit me on the cash app, please. I need material to do my Mask and Tape Treasures again, okay? <clears throat> All right. I'm about to reveal 12 things that Filipinos, Filipinas do, okay? What to expect, okay? All right, number one, they eat with their fingers, okay? See, we don't do that. We don't eat with our fingers. We eat with forks and stuff like that. They eat, they, they rice and stuff with their fingers, okay? And, and me too, I, I did it myself, you know, when I was out in the Philippines. But when I got back up in the West, I used the, the fork and stuff like that. So they eat with their fingers. They eat just about anything with, with, with their fingers, you know. Actually, they got a dish that they eat off a of banana leaf with their fingers. Okay. Number two. They point with their lips. Okay, they point with their lips like they say, that's over there. They say, well, where's that at? They, they, they point with their lips. <laughs> I don't know why. They, I don't know. But we don't do that in the West. We just point. It's over there, over there, you know. But, you know, it's different culture, so. <laughs> okay, number three. They change their shoes every time they enter someone's house. So when we went, when we go to somebody's house, we go to someone's house, we have to take our shoes with us, you know, take our other, uh, another pair of shoes with us like some sandals or something like that. We got to take sandals or something, you know, because I don't think they want you to track in what's outside inside because they sweep constantly, you know, dust and some of everything. So <clears throat> that's number three, changing of the shoes, the changing of the shoes. <laughs> okay, number four. They don't pump their own gas. There's no self-serve out there. No self-service. So when you pull up to a pump, you just ask somebody for, okay, give me uh, such and such on that pump. And they have a serviceman come out and pump your gas for you, which is cool. I like that, though. I like that. We used to have it out here. They used to do, they had, uh, loose uh, service stations around here that they pump your gas for you. You know, they had a guy to pump your gas and clean your windows and everything. And you just sit there, you know. <laughs> but that's that's natural out there. Okay. Another thing is when you go downtown or something and you get ready to park, there's a guy they, they're all over the place. They're like guides. And they say, come on, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Ho, 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 ho. You know, so it's cool. It's cool. They, they're downtown, downtown areas, you know. They will guide you in a parking space. And that's it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, number, number five. They ride tricycles. Yeah, but the tricycles are like cabs. They, they drive, they drive, they drive around everywhere, back and forth, back and forth. And every time they see, all you got to do is just, and then they'll, they'll stop, and then you get in and go. And they'll take you everywhere, you know. But yeah, they, they, they're tricycles with the, uh, it's like a motorcycle with a side compartment on it that can, you can fit three in there 
Well, yeah, three. You can fit three. Yep. All right. Okay. Uh, oh, this is for the Filipinas. When they're eating, they'll put their feet, they'll take their shoes off when they're eating and put their feet up in the chair. We don't do that here. But they, they put their feet in the chair. And they take take their shoes off. <laughs> yep. They put their feet in the chair. And uh oh my goodness. Number six. They don't use toilet paper. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> don't use toilet paper now they will wash wash themselves every time they use the toilet so they're they're clean actually you know i looked at the logic of it you know because this time when i went to the philippines versus the, the first time i went i bought toilet paper i went to the store i specifically had to buy toilet paper you know but this time, I stuck it out. I told them, I said, I'm, I don't want to tell toilet paper. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do what y'all do. Do what y'all do, you know. And, uh, hey, it was fine. After I developed a technique for it, you know. And, yeah, once I developed a technique for it, it was, it was cool. Actually, I would do it here, but, you know, toilet paper is always in your face, you know. So, you know, you get finished, you, you know, <clears throat> but now, but I still wash up after using the restroom anyway. That's just me. I've always done that. You know, after I use it, I will wash up, you know, but I, I could be doing it like they do. Soon as you get up, just wash on up. Yep. Okay. Uh, another thing that we don't do here. They unplug everything in the house. Everything. After they use it. Okay. Or when when uh, there's a storm or something like that. They unplug everything. I never did understand the logic of it. I... I Tried to question my wife about that. Why do you unplug everything? It's nothing going to happen to it. There's no power surge or nothing like that. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll unplug a television, you know. But up outside of the television, lamps, everything. I don't know. Maybe they know something that I don't, I don't know. But I know that. Whenever there's a power outage or something like that, you try to, like, electronics like a television, maybe a stereo or something like that, you know, an amplifier if you got it and stuff like that, you unplug that. But not everything in the house. But that's that's the Philippines for you. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Was that seven? Well, seven. Okay. They have a toilet in the shower. Imagine that, having a toilet in the shower. But the toilet gets wet when you run the shower, when you're in there washing up, and then it gets all on the, the toilet seat and stuff like that. Then you may end up sitting down Later, you come come back in there and have to use it and sit down on it, and it's wet. But that's that's that makes it more convenient for you after you use the toilet. You can just shower right quick. Man, I took I took like in a day, maybe seven showers. It was cool. And, and number eight, they don't, 
readily, they usually don't have hot water in their bathrooms. So when you shower, it's cold, cool water. I know y'all probably, some of y'all probably couldn't take, take it, you know, but I could though. But this time, when I first went down there, I couldn't take it, you know, but they have these boxes that you can put on the wall that have a, a heater to it. So it'll heat the water a, a little bit, but the water don't get hot like it does here. It don't, it don't get hot. So when you get out there, don't think you're going to take a hot, hot shower where steam going to be all in the bathroom and stuff like that. Mirrors fall all up. It ain't going to be like that. It's going to be cool water. And then sometimes when, after you run the water so long, it turns kind of warm like because the pipes are, are outside and the heat is from the sun is beaming down on them. And then when it when it when the water comes through the pipes, it's it happened to get heated up. Cause I remember one night, one night, it was cool in the house too. It was kind of cool. But one night I went to take a shower and I ran the water and I didn't get in the water quick. So I was doing some other stuff. And then when I got in there, the shower felt so warm that I started loving it. I said, man, this is beautiful. Oh, this is <laughs> mm. well. Uh, I think that was. Uh, I got one more, and this is the grand finale. Okay, and this is Filipinas. Filipinas. Okay, Filipinas are. Jealous to the third power. Uh-oh. They're jealous to the third power. I'm telling you. Okay? You can be looking at YouTube or something and just scrolling up. And then if if there's a lady on there, you're in, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. And keep your blinders on when you get outside. Keep your blinders on. Don't look at another Filipina. Don't look at nobody. Don't even talk to uh, another Fili Filipina. If you with your girl, you can't do that. Because they are extremely jealous. Even no matter if you tell them how much you love them and everything like that. It don't matter. They think, I think they think you're a straight up player like that. That defeats the purpose. That's what I went out there for. I went out to the Philippines to get a traditional woman because I am a traditional man. Okay? Yeah. They're extremely jealous, I'm telling you. And you can't break them out of it. So you might as well let them just go, let them have it. Let them go ahead and be that way. Yep. Mm, mm, mm. Yep, it's a uh, it's, it's it takes a little adjusting to get used to, but it's doable. And the Philippines is a place where I I didn't have a worry in the world, mm. and I I rarely get like that here. But when I got there, as soon as I got there, when I woke up the next morning, I was filled with peace with peace I'm telling you and if you don't believe me get your passport and go out there now you ain't gonna have no drama at all unless you're looking for drama unless you're looking for it unless you get out there arguing and stuff like that oh yeah and also the long lines, long lines. You have to be a patient person when you get there. They have long lines and limited cashiers. You know, so 
Just wait in line. Just wait your turn. That's what you're supposed to do anyway. You see? All right, you guys. Mm. Pink lemonade. It's good. All right, you guys. That's it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave me a comment if you like. And hit that bell notification. Hit that bell notification so that you'll be up every time I upload a video. And share, share, share. Share my videos so that everyone can get this experience. So that my video gets out and everybody gets to view my videos. All right? And bless my cash app. Bless my cash app with a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, or five dollars. It don't make a difference. Every bit, every little bit counts because I, I need to get more materials for the channel. I have material to make my stuff that I have to make to sell, but I need material for the channel. All right. Peace. Adios. Salamit. I'm gonna go get some more.